2023 had a lot to offer to the medium of anime. From one of the most iconic shows of all time coming to an end, to an incredible staff battling against their biggest enemy, mismanagement. From a classic being remade into a fully CGI spectacle, to whatever Studio Gohans was doing. 2023 was an interesting year for anime. I have seen close to if not over a hundred shows this year and here's my top 10 anime of 2023. Keyword my. Make sure to subscribe. So there are no strict rules. Anything that aired this year is eligible. The only exception being shows that started airing in 2022. Let's get to it. Number 10. Kubo Won't Let Me Be Invisible Here's an unorthodox one. I did not expect to enjoy this show as much as I did. Now, full disclosure, I am a sucker for rom-coms, but this really was amazing. The characters were likeable and not too over the top in either direction, minus the main premise. You could root for both the leads. None of them acted in an overly anime-like manner. The protagonist didn't physically recoil at the sight of a woman, which was refreshing. This show was sweet. I had a smile on my face the entire time. Visually, this was quite interesting as well. Having a loose, simple but attractive art style, which worked perfectly with the story. It was funny, it was wholesome, it was fun. Number 9. Free Ren Beyond Journey's End Now, I know the show isn't over, but I think it deserves a spot regardless. This show is beautiful. It has a refreshingly slowed down approach as far as the fantasy genre is concerned. Which is ironic because literally speaking, it moves very fast. Years fly by in a matter of minutes, but it feels slow in a good way. Of course, the visuals are absolutely top tier as well. With gorgeous art direction, phenomenal animation, and an all-around appealing presentation. The action scenes are out of this world, even though the action aspect is fairly insignificant to the story. The entire world is masterfully crafted, even the unimportant, mundane exchanges are fun to watch. Brilliant show all around. Number 8. Pluto Now, I do like it. It's in my top 10 of the year, but I thought I'd like it a lot more. Story-wise, the manga is held in very high regards. Production-wise, it was being worked on for over half a decade, with the legendary Masao Maruyama leading the charge, and the anime left a bit to be desired on both those fronts. Regardless, this was amazing. The mystery aspect was quite well handled near the start, and the show explored a bunch of interesting themes and questions, such as the ideas of humanity and hatred, although the latter was handled in a somewhat naive manner. The show was engaging when it tried to be, the North number 2 segment being one of the highlights. Unfortunately, the final act was a bit uninspired. I didn't really feel anything of note, I just went yup, that happened. Production-wise, it had its ups and downs, more ups to be honest. The animation was really solid overall, with Shinya Ohira animating most of the highlights, but the art direction and compositing had issues. Overall, this was great, but you guys probably overhyped it a bit. Number 7. Heavenly Delusion this show had one of the strongest first halves in recent memory, presenting a worn-down, post-apocalyptic world and a fascinating air of mystery. Each episode made me ask questions, which in turn got me excited for the next one. It was mystery done right, and then it fell off. A bit. I feel like the show lost the plot halfway through. I found myself caring less and less about the events as the episodes rolled on. Also, that incident near the end was so unnecessary. I don't think it went anywhere. The plot progression was questionable. I feel like the show went from being intriguingly weird to plain weird. Visually, this was insane. They assembled an all-star team and the animation was consistently outstanding. The art direction was beautiful and helped establish the nature of the world without relying on exposition. The direction was creative and Kentaro Waki's incredible compositing brought these elements together in a flawless manner. No complaints there. Great show, but I wish the second half was more focused story-wise. 
Number 6. Undead Girl Murder Farce Here's an underrated one. Undead Girl Murder Farce is a supernatural mystery and it is consistently engaging and fun to watch. Shows that rely on a short mini-arcs model of storytelling can be a hit or miss, but this show nailed every single story arc. I'm quite fond of the time period this show takes place in and I feel like the aesthetic was perfect. It had a unique approach direction-wise, with some creative ideas and just enough animation muscle to back said ideas up. The characters were really charismatic and the interactions between them were fun to watch. I was not expecting much from this title but I was pleasantly surprised. The mysteries got me thinking, the character interactions were engaging and the story was really interesting. What more can you ask for? Number 5. Blue Giant An anime movie that's all about music, this was absolutely brilliant. It was refreshing to watch a music title focus on the music aspect. Trust me, that's a rare thing these days. The show uses its production quality to its advantage with these insanely well put together performances. The music is wonderful and the visuals are out of this world, literally in some cases. These performances are the main reason why this movie is as compelling as it is. I was genuinely stunned. The narrative is simple. The characters like jazz and so they play jazz. But there's beauty in simplicity. The slightly overdramatic final act aside, they explored this simple idea with these breathtaking musical performances that can only be described as audiovisual LSD. If I had to complain, I'd say the final act came out of nowhere and felt a bit unnecessary. Also, the CGI use was slightly jarring, but these aren't major complaints. Overall, this movie was an incredible experience. Number 4. Vinland Saga Season 2 I loved everything about this season. The approach this show took for the second season was bold to say the least. Season 2 knows what it stands for and it refuses to budge, which is really respectable. It takes a simple idea and presents it in an incredibly complex, matured and well thought out manner. The show did preach a lot, but at no point did I feel like it was insulting my intelligence. So many shows lack that nuance. I won't recap the plot for you, but the way it handles Thorfinn's growth as a person and as a warrior is absolutely flawless. I did not expect this show to go down this route. I was caught a bit off guard with this change of pace early on, but I got used to it. The masterful direction definitely helped with that. Season 2 features some of the most compelling and well-written episodes in recent memory. It's fine if you don't like this season, I get it. If you watched Vinland Saga for the action, you might not like the second season and that's perfectly fine. You decide what you watch. But I do recommend giving season 2 a chance. It's incredible. Number 3. Trigon Stampede This started off as a fun show and it kept getting better. I have not seen the original anime, so this was my first exposure to the Trigon title and I think it's amazing. The tone near the start was quite fun but the darker nature of the story seeped in as the episodes rolled on. That final arc was perfect in every possible way. I generally dislike overly optimistic characters but I'll gladly make an exception for Vash. His character was handled with a lot of care which made the final episode so much more emotional. Also, let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, it's a fully CGI show and yes, it looks absolutely brilliant. I have talked about the visuals and the overall production process before. But to sum it up, I think this is the best looking CGI in all of anime. Just a perfect show all around. Number 2. Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 Yup, it was inevitable. Now, I won't say much because I plan on making an entire video about Season 2, about the writing that is, but long story short, I think both the Hidden Inventory and the Shibuya arc are two of the best battle shonen arcs by a mile and a half. It's the perfect combination of nuanced writing and in-your-face hype. Everything makes sense. Actions have consequences. Fights have stakes. Characters act like people. The power system makes sense. It's perfect. What more can I add? Now, before we get to the number one spot, in true WatchMojo fashion, let's go through a few honorable mentions. 
fate, strange fake, and insanely cool work, a personification of the word hype. Demon Slayer Swordsmith Village Arc. I really enjoyed this season, more than most. The Mitsuri stuff was a nice change of pace. Dr. Stone Season 3. Really like the direction the story is headed in. Good stuff. And now, the number one spot goes to Attack on Titan Season 4 Part 3. You probably saw it coming. To me, Attack on Titan is unmatched. It's one of, if not the greatest story ever told, and it concluded in an incredible manner. I have talked about both the visuals and the ending itself already, so there's not much I can add here. Just know that this show, to me, is beyond special. It's an experience, the likes of which we rarely come across. A generational work which is meticulously crafted down to the last detail. A once in a lifetime piece of work. And that was my top 10. Let me know yours down in the comments. That's about it. Did you like this video? Check out this other bit of content on screen if you did. Make sure to like and subscribe and until next time.